Here they are. They're the on wireless earphones from Asda. I think they're Asda's own personal brand uh, or in-house brand anyway. And I got them today because I went out early in the morning today to take some photographs, uh, get some B-roll for my content, but I forgot to take my earphones with me. So I popped into an Asda and I got one of these. It was the cheapest one that they had there, so I picked these up. So first thing I actually liked about these earphones is the packaging. It's a plastic free package. So all we have in there is cardboard, everything recyclable, which is absolutely brilliant. In the package comes the headphones themselves, a USB cable for charging, and that's it. Oh yes, and of course the instruction manual. Um, apart from that, there's nothing else. There's not actually that much information on the packaging itself, which confused me originally because I didn't know whether or not it has an audio jack for traditional listening without Bluetooth. Uh, and I didn't know if it had an inbuilt microphone, but it is a yes and a yes on both cases. It doesn't say that, it doesn't make it clear on the packaging. Those are two major things that people consider when they buy these headphones, especially when they're wireless. So it's very minimalistic. At first, when you open it, the first thing that you notice is that they're very, very light, very light, obviously, because it's all made of uh, what feels like cheap plastic. Um, so while it feels kind of cheap and light, it actually doesn't feel flimsy. Um, I feel that this is probably gonna break after a couple of months or so of use, but it wouldn't bother me because I've bought really expensive ones that also did the same thing and broke. So maybe that's what we need to get used to these days. Um, it's either these or they're the Apple AirPods and the difference in price is 100X. So quickly going over the features, of course, it's got the audio jack, the on button, it's got a USB port for charging and a plus and minus for volume control. It says hands-free calling, so I assume the on button is for answering and ending calls as well. It feels kind of tight around my head because, you know, I have a big head. So if your head is smaller than mine, then this probably feels better. Obviously, you don't want it to be too loose as well because you want it pressed up against your ears in this manner. So it has some kind of passive noise cancellation effect if it presses up against your ears, but you know, it doesn't make that much of a difference. This pair actually came charged to about 75%. According to the manual, it has up to eight hours listening time. So that should give you about six hours out of the box. I've only just started using them, so I can neither confirm nor deny that. It also comes with Bluetooth 4.0, which means it can only pair with one device at a time in the old school Bluetooth way, as opposed to Bluetooth 5, which you know can pair with two devices at the same time. It also has a slight latency compared to Bluetooth 5, but for what I'm using it for, just for audio, for listening to podcasts, for listening to audiobooks, and just you know, voice and sometimes for editing, then the latency stuff doesn't bother me as much. Now, if you're going to watch videos with it, or you're going to edit uh, a video with it, or play games with it, then the latency might start to matter. But you know what? I've watched a few YouTube videos from my iPhone using these, and I don't actually notice anything. So I think basically the difference in latency between 4.2 and 5.0 that everyone goes on about is really, really minuscule and probably not noticeable by most users like myself. Um, probably those people that play high-end games and do all these sort of video conference and things, they can't start to notice. And of course, if you have a two-way uh, thing, like if you are in a video conference, so you have latency in one direction and then latency in the other direction, it could start to pile up. But if it's just in one direction, if you're watching a standard video that you probably wouldn't notice, you definitely won't notice if you're listening to audio because there's no latency in audio. There's just, you know, maybe a microscopic delay in the beginning and then everything is just the same. In terms of sound quality, they sound average, like, you know, a pair of 15 pound headphones. They're nowhere near as good as the ones that I used to use that I bought from Amazon. I can't remember the name now, but they're broke anyway, so what does it matter? Um, and they don't sound as good as AirPods. So they're just standard headphones for listening to audio, not necessarily music. If you're an audiophile, you probably hate them, but they're perfect for audiobooks, podcasts, or watching just 
videos off of the internet, like on YouTube or something like that. Anyway, that's the review. Adi Torrent, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care of yourself. Peace out.